A lot of y'all don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you because I love black men so much. Stop wasting your time with black women. Stop. They not loving you. They not listening. They not willing to submit. They think they too independent to be submissive and be equal and be a companion and be a comforter and bring you peace. They think they too good for that because they mama told them to go get them a man with some money since they knew how to talk and walk. Go get you a white woman. The highlight of the, of the, the video, she called y'all heifers. <laughs> That's how upset she was. Y'all heifers. Like. So let me ask you, dog. Do you think our black women are capable of submitting to of the course. black man? Of course. Shall we slide into the first video, bro? Let's get it started. Let's, let's let Peanut kick this off. It's yeah. this jump podcast. Oh, what Jesus said. Let's go. How do y'all don't want to hear this? But I'm going to tell you because I love black men so much. Uh, come Stop on, wasting your time with black women. Stop. Oh, they shit. not loving you. <laughs> they not listening. They not willing to submit. They Shots think they too fire. independent to be submissive <laughs> and be equal and be Damn. a companion. Damn. And be a comforter and bring you peace. They think they too good for that because they mama told them to go get them a man with some money since they knew how to talk and walk. Go get you a white woman. Oh, Lord. She's going to get money, damn. have good credit, <laughs> oh, Lord. come with a house and, and land and, and still be submissive. Go get you a white woman. Still be submissive. Sure is. They still going to submit and still treat you and love your dirty jaws. <laughs> love you on your sweatiest day and not talk about you to her uh, other caring friends. She's not going to talk about your business. Go get you a white uh, woman. I'm trying to tell you. Listen to me. She, Listen. She, Go get you a white a woman. She's firing shots. These black helpers don't Damn. appreciate you, you <laughs> black Hold king. I heard Y'all don't want me like because 94. I'm too loud. Y'all oh. don't want me because I'm too oversexual, but I'm submissive. I got my own money. I got my own this. I got my own that. I ain't got no fucking um, um, sense. Damn, Damn. At least she honest, bro. <laughs> Talking to your white woman. She going Damn. hard. <laughs> she didn't waste. She wasted zero time. Yeah. She told us for us to stop wasting our time. The highlight of the, of the, the video, she called y'all heifers. <laughs> That's how upset she was. Y'all heifers. Like, then, so let me ask you, dog. Do you think our black women are capable of submitting to of the black man? Of course. I think I was I was listening to uh, Kevin Samuels on the way over here, and I know that a lot of a lot of women don't like Kevin Samuels, but um, he made a great point. He said that what what he thinks is that right now we're in um, information overload, like we just getting too much of everything. You can have everything at your fingertips when you go on social media. You can you, you can go in your DMs as a woman, and you know we'll say back in two thousand, I'll say for, for for the women my age, yeah, back in two thousand two. You might only get, you know, maybe say 20 to 30 men like, oh, you look good. You do this in a given time frame, maybe like a week. Whereas now you can go in your DM and literally have a thousand men telling you you are God's gift to the world. Gift, yeah, queen gift, and this and that. So we, I think that we just in that information overload where it's really like hypnotizing men and women. But since we talk about women, it's really hypnotizing them to think that they're more than what they are and i'm not saying that that, that they're less of anything but it's now, just like you just get in too much of it so you get it it's like being cocky and not understand that like oh wait wait a minute yeah you, you, social media is not real so in your environment you ain't gonna meet the type of guys you think that you are capable yeah, of and and and, being and, with. and and let me add i don't i don't think it's a it, 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 t right there it, it, i guess i'm white it, it, i don't think that it is the type of women she's talking about our age or the older woman it seems of course it's the younger generation because right. they, they're they're born into the social media right era they're born into the social media yep. age where they they have to have their phone they got it they, they attach to their phone laptop mm -hmm. tablets yep. they're attached to it yeah you know what i mean they are influenced by the social media and and and, and everything that's going on so it, to me it's is i mean it's a shame that it it really shows that like community and like you know that whole it takes a village to raise a child mm -hmm. and and home like the home has to be stronger than ever these days because if you don't have that base at home you got a good mom that's you know telling you 
the right things, how to move and be confident and all those other how things. How to feature man. If, they, if not, you're going to drown in that pool of social media as you go out and it's telling you to, um, again, it's just false, false information about <laughs> how they think how life is going to be. And it's like, that's not how life work. It don't work like that. You can't just be going out here thinking you're going to find this million dollar man who just going to put up with your, your BS, your, your entitlement. Your BS, like, period. That's not how the what? world let me, works. Now, let me ask you, now, when do you think this whole thing completely shift from uh, from men being leaders of the household to now women just want to be not only boss chicks, but they want to be they want to be men. I just I just think just with the rise of social it, media, being able to go on social media and hear somebody because, again, everybody does it when you when you're mm -hmm. in a certain emotion. It was rare before that you could go and find a support group for that emotion. Oh yeah, but okay. now you can go on social media, and if you if you don't like your man's toenails, you can go find a group. Yeah, girl. <laughs> oh, you go on toenails. Facebook, bro. Yeah, there's fifteen thousand of us out there. Toenail haters, right? And so, Women only, right? So it's like now that I got this platform, and I can find people that that think just like me. Now I think that this is the majority, and I say uh -huh. all, I say all the time, not not all women, but a lot of women. They speak from the exception and not yeah. the rule. Yeah. Well, I know a girl. I know a man that make a million dollars. Well, how many of them you know? You only yeah. know one, so that makes it the, the exception, not the yeah. rule. And so, because the, we have these spaces where you can think about the exception, and then you got other people who yeah, think that yeah, way. Yeah, just, just now down. everybody, and now now it's a space for it. And yep. so that's yeah. where it's, it's going wrong. And T, I listen T. T says not just that. Keep in mind of the women's empowerment movement. That was the face that gave women a voice. Now, T, I'm, I'm going to say this. I think, in my opinion, I think the feminism and the women movement was just a government way of pulling wool over the women's eyes. Because now they got you in the workforce. Right. Making more money for them. Right. And again, most people don't know that the whole feminism movement, that was white, that was white women it, against it was, white, white men. men. They were mad that the our women had nothing to do with nothing. It. <laughs> and what they seen was, wait, as the as the feminist movement is moving, so is civil rights. And so we over here saying, listen, we just want to be seen as humans, all of us. And again, yes. when you think about civil rights, the, the, the leaders of the civil rights movement, they weren't saying that they only wanted rights for men. They were saying we want rights for, for us as for black us. people. Exactly. Exactly. The white women were over there doing their own thing and then just say, hey, black women, come over here. And then they like, oh, wait, well, yeah, we want. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, come on up. Y'all yeah. messed it all up. And again, no no blame on anybody. But it's like, yeah, at the end of the day, that was their agenda. Let them keep their agenda. Again, women, let them keep their beauty standards. Those long yep. weaves and all straight hair and blonde and this and all. That's not our standards. We didn't create no black man. So, oh, you know what? Damn, man, I don't like these women because they hair not blonde. They, yeah, we don't. Oh, we don't care. They, ain't not, they don't understand. Like, hit that like button. Make sure y'all like this. Leave a comment. And tell us what you think. This your own podcast. Yeah.